That was another thing that was always kind of hard for us was we felt like we picked a really safe state and a safe community. We left the city in California where we'd be awoken in different times of the night with sirens and shootings and things. So, And then when this happened, I was like, who in Idaho would do this? Who would be capable of doing that in our community? And I remember talking to one of the officers and he was like, you know what? We, we worried that this person had been given warnings and, you know, he'd gone to various, you know, people call in and say, you know, my boyfriend's abusive. And he goes, a lot of times we've got to make determinations that it, that they're safe. You know, sometimes it's exaggeration. Maybe he, somebody's had too much to drink. He goes, he goes, our worst fear, Steve, is that we let that person go. And, and he was truly a dangerous person and we didn't recognize that. He goes, but if this person's an outsider, he goes, if they're not from this community, he goes, if they're from out of this state, he goes, we are going to bring it. We're going to bring it to this person if they came from out of this area to do this to our to our, to our our community. And I'm like, well, then that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping it's completely an outsider. So everybody knows that he didn't have to do this. This is a decision making that he did and he picked the wrong community. And I had officers that were willing to uh, go that extra mile and that extra being offended to know that somebody thought that uh, these cops were too small, they wouldn't be able to understand, he could out-trick them, out-smart them. You know, it was a strategic move that somebody would do if they came from outside the community and then came to our community to do this. And uh, I felt very confident that those, uh, those officers would take that personal and it wouldn't be like in a big city where they were like, this happens every weekend, you know they're overwhelmed where this is like this will change all those officers lives and uh, I think you can see that when you go there's a sense of purpose in their eyes and 